Good morning. I'm at my home base. I'm at Gloucester today. Now back in the summer when Stuart was over here on a family holiday from Australia and wanted to play this course, his first reaction to it was, there's a hell of a lot more slopes here than the camera shows. The camera flattens everything. Today I'm playing with Neville who's come up from Portsmouth. He's never seen the course before. I've walked him up to the 18th green up here behind us to look up the hill to the 18th tee and his reply was bloody hell it doesn't look that steep on camera so we're going to play a few holes today but well, we're going to play all 18 don't know how many I'll record let's go and have some fun it's a bit windy and now it's autumn the ball isn't traveling very far so uh, it's going to be some fun with long irons as opposed to short irons that you see me hitting in the summer see you on the first tee well I wasn't too sure what to do with this video until I got to the editing and I thought we played nine holes each so why don't I score this as a dovetail so what is a dovetail if you don't know quite simply it's a four ball better ball but you must score nine hold holes each now usually you both play the hole and at the end of the hole when you've both finished you decide which score you're going to use but as I'm only recording one person per hole then I'm playing all of the odds and Neville is playing all of the evens so without an actual choice at the end of the hole over whose score to choose we inevitably score a little bit worse down a second here there's the fairway bunkers you've got to avoid so now it's Neville's turn to play his half of the dovetail Well, such is the strength of the wind today. I'm hitting a five iron up here, would you believe? Just trying to keep it low. Yeah. Take some spin off it. Surprising how far it is up here. And it certainly works to club up when you have to. Pass. On to the fourth and shot tracer shows us why it's called shit tracer yep that's into the tree and underneath what I like here is there's no attempt to try and recover this beyond Neville's capabilities he simply hits his four hybrid hits his eight iron and if he's going to make that par it'll be with the putter Now you may think I'm aiming far too far left but the wind is now diagonally left to right and I intend hitting a fade anyway so you do have to aim a long way left there 55 downwind probably not the easiest shot believe myself but we accomplish it and we move on One of the things I always fail to do is to ask you to like, share and subscribe and leave a comment. It helps me out no end. Cheers. I've just given Neville his line for the second shot 
and he executes it perfectly. That nine wood is rather a good tool. But now we're straight into the wind. There's a second bunker beyond the one you can see. And we pay it a visit. But you can see that Neville was a really good golfer back in the day. And he's still got it around the greens. That is most definitely not good. And the sound of a ball hitting a tree is not good. Heavy lie, six iron. It's just a question of hacking this out and hoping to get it somewhere near the front edge. Well, I managed to get enough ball to actually do that. Flag way up the back, easy up and down. But I've under hit that and it stopped almost dead. So I'm afraid I'm going to let the side down a bit. Just to show you what I mean about in a normal dovetail you can take the other guy's ball. This is Neville going in for par for a net birdie. So had we been scoring it correctly we would have used Neville's ball on that hole and been a shot better off. But look at the intelligent way that he plays this hole. Nine wood, nine wood, eight iron. So you don't have to be a big hitter to play good golf. It's as simple as this. I bet there's many a big hitter who would buy that par off him. One of the important things to do on 10 is to actually get to the bottom of the hill here on the flat. Although it hasn't helped Neville this time, it will most certainly help you rather than being up the hill. And missing left is not where you want to be. It makes life incredibly difficult. Unless, of course, you can putt a bit. We move on to 11, and the camera really does make this look flat. This is really quite steep up here. Free hybrid for me. I dunk it very close to the flag. Oh, that's beautiful. But the wrong that's damn enough, side. just over hit it and it hasn't stopped yet. Oh yeah, lovely par. 
On 12, you really do have to get out the left. With all the outer bounds down the right, this is why this hole is stroke index 4. And if you are down the right, you can't even see the left edge of the green. But that is a hell of a good hybrid. Neville says this is the best view on the golf course, even better than 18. And I'm inclined to agree. Hitting a little pull into the green and even missing it isn't much of a problem because it leaves you all uphill. And there we go. I've done that once or twice before. Onto the short 16th. Little short, little left. And this is where we find out that the green, especially with the wind pushing it, is a bit quick downhill. With a hard left to right wind, I really didn't fancy this going over the out of bounds. So I just hit a five iron. <laughs> 